Okay, when you take any form of stimulation in, whether it be coffee or any of the stimulants, the starches, all those stimulants take energy from the future and bring it to right now. So you're you're bringing you're taking like your overall steady energy that you have for your entire life and you're taking a chunk of that and bringing it to now. So you have the only way to balance that out is to crash to regenerate so that cuz your your consciousness can't stay in your body. You can only maintain consciousness if you maintain a certain level of energy or you have to pass out, catch up on your breathing and then you can finally inhabit your body again because you know the body's reached an energy level to where it can house consciousness again and doesn't have to go dormant and try to regenerate. So as you drink a cup of coffee right now because you're low energy, you're taking tomorrow's energy away today and you continue to do that. And it's like a snake eating its tail. So we always got to keep that in mind, you know, as far as our energy is that any energy that we're using to stimulate what, you know, regardless, we're, we're abusing our own energy. We're, we're bringing it, we're taking it from the future, from the long haul and bringing it to us now. So we're creating a, a crazy yo-yo effect. You know, regardless of what you're doing, whether you're doing, because Molly is methamphetamine for the Molly users out here. Like, that's just meth. You're doing meth. So any Molly head is really an amphetamine head. So they're taking energy from the future and bringing it into this point and in an unnatural way, instead of having such a connection with future and past that your energy is so vibrant that you're shining through all your lifetimes into this one lifetime because... You're such a clear mirror of God because cleanliness is next to godliness. Instead, you do things you shouldn't do, which make you tired. And instead of respecting the natural flow of life and resting and getting back to your dreams to where you get back on course and do things that don't make you tired. Because the the infinite and true God state is, li is a limitless well of energy. So what you should be doing will never make you tired. Anything that makes you tired is what makes you sick anything a person place or thing if it makes you tired it makes you sick and you have to respect your energy levels and respect being tired so if you respect being tired and you, you know, catch up on your breathing and you go to sleep then then you can then you can have a chance to you know regenerate and have a have a perspective to where you're like well i won't do that again i'm not going to drink or do to use these other other stimulants because that's what you're doing you're abusing you're abusing uh, your endorphins you're not, you know, you're abusing tomorrow's energy today and you're, you know, you're abusing your endorphins because, again, the endorphins and all chemicals, enzymes, hormones, all of it, vitamins, they're all actions of the minerals and the minerals are energy and the minerals themselves. They're made of the elements, but they're on the on the periodic table and they have an atomic number or atomic mass or whatever, which is just an energy signature. So the minerals are 102 minerals, minerals of the body have a signature, an energetic signature. And that is what we call the atomic number or whatever. That's the rate. That's the same thing as with your DNA. It's an energetic signature or pattern. And so as you deplete a mineral, you're depleting some energy because that's what minerals are. So as you deplete like that, you get more and more tired and your your chemistry all changes. So your thoughts all change. Everything follows that. It's all a and, and you as you, you're getting tired because you're not breathing properly and anything that isn't conducive to health will make you be shallow in your breath and you you will feel rushed and the more shallow you are the more rushed you are the more you feel the power becomes outside of you because you're not using the pump which is the lungs that's the energy pump basically when you're not using that then the, all the power is outside of you and then you just keep your eyes open and you instead of closing your eyes and breathing and consciously getting regenerating people keep their eyes open and they stimulate, stimulate, try to stay awake, 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 instead of respecting what's really going on. And, you know, we get what comes with that. You know, it's just robbing Peter to pay Paul, robbing ourselves tomorrow to, for today. And then we rob Peter to pay Paul. And then we stay in debt because it's a personal debt because you're behind on your breathing, which makes you behind on everything else. The next element, you now you're behind on, you know, everything. Now you just got a debt for everything. Now you're eating food that you don't need now. And anytime that you are giving yourself things that you don't need, you eventually give other people things that they don't need, information, gifts, things that they don't need. And that is not in accordance with the flow of life when you give things to people that they don't need. And that's from coming from giving yourself things you don't need. And that just makes you more tired. 
because you're giving yourself stimulation from food and things that you don't need to where you can stimulate yourself to deal with people that you shouldn't be dealing with and doing things you shouldn't be doing. So it's that's that's stimulation. That's the difference between nourishment and stimulation and being and being nourished. You know, it's it's steady. You know, steady wins the race. Soft overcomes the hard. Like a stream makes rock soft. Same thing. However you want to look at it, or if you want to look at it sexually, because if that's where your state of being is. So either way. So R O Y A L T five one two at yahoo.com for the PDFs consultation. If you want to come here to Fast in Kings Canyon, California. And they got the ebooks and paperbacks online if you go on Amazon and search Our Blood Vegan.